Good evening, everyone. It's Kristen DeFrancisco coming to you remotely from my house for Sunday greetings. I wanted to come out with a little bit of an update for you. I got lots of questions over the weekend and lots of questions certainly since my Tuesday update by video after the commissioner and the governor uh, closed our school buildings for the rest of the school year. I had quite a few emails this weekend, lots of questions about what the next plans are. And I just wanted to let everybody know that the district is working really hard to get our next steps of our plans in place. I can't give you any specific answers to any questions as those are still really a work in progress. I can tell you that the superintendent of schools plans to send out communication and updates to all of the learning plan documents that she has sent out previous to now. And she is working on those currently and plans to have those out to the district this week. I'm imagining probably by Wednesday. And so by Wednesday, I will be able to give you a little bit more specifics about what we will be doing moving forward at Gibbs. I can also tell you this, we are starting to prepare for video lessons that will come out to students so that they can watch those lessons asynchronously. I also can tell you that teachers are learning how to use some new platforms this week to both help with videos and also help with some of the Google Hangouts that they've been doing. I can tell you I'm preparing a new schedule with more synchronous times for children to connect with their teachers. So there will actually be times in the schedule where they can log on to chats and hangouts and different methods for office hour type questions. And that will come to you in a schedule that has actual specific times for students to be doing specific things. But there will also be a balance of those asynchronous activities as well. I spent some time this weekend digesting the information from the Commissioner of Education, Jeff Riley, and as he came out and talked a little bit about what the recommendations are to districts in Massachusetts from the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, he talked about maintaining a priority of students' social emotional wellness, physical health, communication and connection to families, and making sure that we are providing ways for students to stay engaged in remote learning. And that's what we have been worked on since the announcement. That's what we'll be working on this week. So I want you to know that you can expect once May 4th arrives, you can expect that there will be changes and there will be more synchronous types of learning coming out to students. But that isn't to say that there will necessarily be actual online video learning that is synchronous. We do want to make sure that we're continuing to provide asynchronous ways for students to receive their lessons. That being said, follow up at synchronous times will looks like that that will be in the plan as we move forward. I know this is vague. You know, I'd like to be able to give you more answers but I did want you to know that the superintendent will be coming out with an update. And as I expect, it will be early in the week. And you can expect from me another video update telling you exactly what Gibbs will be doing um, in response to the district plan. Um, th there will be a section in the district plan that does outline what Gibbs is doing, but I certainly will come out to families and be a little bit more granular about what we will be doing moving forward. I, I hope you take some time to watch the video on Behavior Has a Reason. Uh, there's an activity there for families to do together that I think might help you to process with your sixth grader and other school-aged children in your home. Um, I think that it will provide some insight into why they may be acting or showing some behaviors that they are, both positive and you know, maybe some not so desired behaviors. So I hope you take a a few minutes to watch that as well and that it helps you to continue to norm this away from school learning. With that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening and I look forward to updating you further uh, about midweek. Take care.